How's everybody doing today? This is the Storm Pal, and I have got a DBZ Talks installment for you guys. And this idea came to me from Senior Ninja 99 on Twitter, and he was asking me if I think that Bardock cared more about Goku than Raditz, and of course the good old why or why not. Any hoozle, um, I'm here to tackle this topic, and this is, was kind of interesting for me because I never really thought about this that much because. Bardock, even though he is a really popular character, there's not a lot on him. He's in a few specials and a flashback or two, but that's about it, you know? So we don't know a whole lot about him, and we really don't know a whole lot about Goku or Raditz's backstory back in the Saiyan Armada before they make it to Earth and all that junk. We really don't know a whole lot about uh, their origins and all that stuff. We both know they're Saiyans from Planet Vegeta and their dad's Bardock, and that's just about it. Bardock really never mentions Raditz ever in any of his appearances, mostly because all of his appearances are just about him fighting Frieza or doing some mission or whatever else like that. So he really didn't have enough time for Raditz, especially considering Raditz was somewhat grown during most of all of his appearances. There's of course that little scene where he's looking at little baby Goku in the little chamber pod thingy cradle sanctuary nursery thingy maduji and he's just kind of looking at him and that's really all the attention that he ever gives to Goku to be completely honest so the way that I see it he never really cared about either of them that much for one Saiyans aren't that emotional so I can't picture Bardock holding either one of them and just saying man look at the gift of life when you look down at that baby and you see that it has the same hairstyle as you and you know it's yours yeah, that, that's magic. I, 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 I can't see Bardock getting all magical, mushy, gooey over, over stuff like that. So I can't see him really caring about either one of them, especially since in a few of my other videos, um, especially the one where I talked about who Goku's mother is, uh, which you guys should check that out sometime. That's a pretty good video in my opinion. <clears throat> Not to toot my own horn, but any hoozle. Um, and like I said in that video, I had always basically theorized that the Saiyan Armada was a lot like the Spartan army, and by that I mean that women were mostly there for the sole purpose of making children, and the sole purpose of making children was basically to make boys to fight in the war, and women to make boys, you know, that was about it, so all that being said, I really don't think that there was that much of an emotional bond between families, I think... It was all strictly business, as in your kid, you know, you maybe were just responsible for him in terms of genetics, but that's about it. You weren't responsible for your kids financially, emotionally, or anything like that in the Saiyan Armada. I'm pretty sure after, you know, the kid was born, you got to look at the kid, and that was about it. After that, they were sent to the labs, sent to the the training grounds, sent to this and that, and all the, that stuff. So that's, that's basically my response. I know that probably isn't the response that you're looking for, because I don't think he really cared about either one of them that much at all. Definitely not one more than the other because he probably barely even knew them when they were shipped out out into the world. So he probably really could not care less about either one of them, to be completely honest, because Bardock is a heartless guy. Um, but that's that's my input to answer your question. I, I, th I actually thought it was a really good question and it had a pretty simple answer to tackle. But anyway... For now, I guess I would like to thank you all for watching. Hope you have a nice day and goodbye. And if you guys have any other topics that you'd like to see me tackle for DBZ Talks, uh, YouTube private message, or actually Twitter is a really good way to do that too. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Goodbye.